Cooking with Lisa. Hi guys, today I'm gonna make carne asada. It's Tuesday. Taco Tuesday. The ground. So this recipe I'm gonna post in the description box down below. So check it out if you want to know the whole recipe. First things first, I'm the real it. But no, you're gonna need a crock pot. It's my wave. Actually, I have two crock pots. But this is my bigger one, then I have a smaller one for like desserts and things like that. It's all programmable, blah, blah, blah. Okay, first, you put your flink steak on in there. Now, it's gonna be one fourth cup olive oil all over the... I'm just kind of chopping up some coriander or cilantro, whichever you want to call it. It's the same thing. And one cup of cilantro. Two teaspoons of garlic. Ooh. Two. One teaspoon of pepper. One teaspoon of salt. A cup of orange juice. A cup of lime juice. Two tablespoons of white vinegar. Two. What you are gonna want to do next is you put the lid on it. Bada boom, bada bing. Turn it on. Program. I like to do six hours. Let's do seven hours. And then. But yeah, and then that's it. And then we'll be back to check on it. All right, so that is our marinade for the carne asada. While that's cooking, I'm gonna make some guacamole. I'm going to put more tomatoes in it than usual. Let's start chopping. Now we're going to chop up some red onions. So what we are going to do next is one fourth cup of lime juice. One tablespoon of garlic, some pepper, add a little salt. Here we go. Never freeze coriander or cilantro because it just turns out really watery. Look at my hand. Do you can see this right now? Monster hands. Okay, Lisa, you're weird. All that sponge. Okay, so now we're gonna chop up our avocados or avocado. That's how the normal people say it. But we're not normal here. So, avocado it is. Just like this. Voila. Oh, got lucky. This comes right out on this one. Normally you have to stab it. I was gonna show you. Stab it again. Oh my god! I guess we're just gonna get messy. See? You just wiggle it like that. That's how it's supposed to do it. I normally just save one of these. So I'll just save one. Oh, oh, oh. We're not gonna save that one. So what we're gonna do with these avocados is just do this. I don't even know if this is what you do to get the avocado out. Oh, works for me. Uh oh. I'm moving right along. Huh. Ah! <laughs> oh my gosh. Cooking with Lisa. 
I'm just such a good cook, aren't I? Okay, and then to the avocado bowl, we're just going to add some lime juice. I don't have any lemon juice, but you just do this so they don't turn brown. But I don't have lemon juice, so deal with that. Okay. We're gonna put our avocado in here. Or avocado. Avocado! I'll just have you know that this stuff is so good. That's how you mix in Lisa's kitchen. That's our avocado salsa. Let's try it. Mmm. Oh. On point. I'm just gonna put a little bit more garlic in there. Cause I can. Mm. Yeah. Do some more garlic. <clears throat> I'm just gonna put the little seed in there because it keeps it from going brown, I think. Voila. so it kind of marinates a little bit. So this has been in about an hour and 15 minutes. So I'm just gonna grab my thongs. There we go. So it kind of gets everything all mixed in there. And check on it again. And ooh, it looks yummy. So it opened up flank, a plank. I don't know, it's flat. It's looking good. So we're gonna take it out and chop it up into little pieces. <laughs> Is it good? Get out of my face! Like and subscribe. Lisa Pisa.